as you know, the Trump administration has quote unquote put Iran on notice due to its non-nuclear related activities in the region. Uh, this, they seem to want to de-link this from the ongoing uh, enforcement of the nuclear deal. In the minds of the Iranian government, can these two issues remain separate or do you intend to link the nuclear agreement to increasing sanctions coming from the US? And very quickly, we know that the Iranian nuclear program is peaceful, but if you were to choose to build a nuclear weapon, exactly how long would it take you from right now? Thank you. <laughs> exactly how long would it take you if you decided to build a nuclear weapon right now? Exactly how long would it take? Thank you. Iran is unmoved by threats. Iran responds very well to respect. We don't respond well to threats. And everybody tested us for many years, all threats and coercions were imposed on Iran. You remember the concept of crippling sanctions? The crippling sanctions produced a net total of 19,800 centrifuges. Because when those crippling sanctions were imposed on Iran, we had less than 200 centrifuges. When the United States came to the negotiating table, we had 20,000 centrifuges. And the objective of those crippling sanctions was to push Iran to have zero centrifuges. So Iran doesn't respond well to threats. We don't respond well to coercion. We don't respond well to sanctions. But we respond very well to mutual respect. We respond very well to arrangements to reach mutually acceptable scenarios, as we did with JCPOA. And I think that's a lesson that history has taught all of us. We are not going to produce nuclear weapons, period. So it will take forever for Iran to produce nuclear weapons. People will be happy saying that they have ex extended breakout capability to one year. But let them be happy, and I'm happy that they're happy. But I'm making a very simple statement. We believe that nuclear weapons do not augment our security, nor do they augment anybody's security. I believe the six secretaries of state and national security advisors who wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post, or um, Wall Street Journal, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. In the Wall Street Journal saying that the time has come to rid the world of all nuclear weapons were right. It's now the time to start destroying everybody's nuclear weapon and not thinking about somebody else joining the club because that is not a very safe club. About this regional dialogue you just proposed, uh, are you willing or is Iran willing to include Israel in that kind of dialogue? On the regional dialogue, I said that I'm modest. I'm focusing on the Persian Gulf. We have enough problems in this region. So we want to start a dialogue with countries that we call brothers. We call each other brothers in Islam. We need to address the common problems and perceptions that have given rise to anxieties, that have given rise to the level of violence that exists in the region. I'll be happy if we can succeed in this endeavor. And Iran is prepared to engage with all our neighbors in the region in the Persian Gulf region in order to address this.